An Indiana organization is raising awareness about people who live in extreme pain and silence. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America says that one in 200 people live with the inflammatory bowel disease. The Fort Wayne chapter of the organization is hosting a walk to raise funds to support research and support programs. Here to talk about the Take Steps Walk is Angela Brademeyer with the local CCFA chapter and her daughter, Anissa. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Well, talk about what we were just talking about. Talk a little bit about um, your personal connection to Crohn's disease. My personal connection is I have Crohn's disease. My daughter, Anissa, has Crohn's disease. Her younger sister, Alina, has Crohn's disease, and so did my father. Uh, Crohn's disease is 30% uh, of the time hereditary. Mm -hmm. And talk about how that impacts. I have a, a friend actually who has Crohn's disease. Are there certain things that you have to do as far as your, your diet or how does that impact your, your life? You do have to watch your diet. Usually you know when you wake up in the morning what you can have to eat and what you can't just by the way your stomach feels. Okay. Um, if you take your medications, which at times is quite a few, mm -hmm. uh, that helps control it quite a bit so you can go on with your normal day-to-day -day life. How many people are, are affected by this disease? There are 1.4 million people across America wow. affected by the disease, more than 30,000 in Indiana alone. Uh, and the largest growing population is the pediatric population of diagnosis. What kinds of things does CCFA do to help folks with this disease? There are seminars um, throughout the country. We have support groups uh, in every state. Um, there are awareness groups, there's uh, brochures, pamphlets, a lot of online awareness now, uh, fundraisers such as Take Steps, that helps. Uh, there are re um, research initiatives, uh, 80 cents on every dollar goes towards research, okay. uh, hopefully to find a cure. Yeah. And Anissa, you volunteer, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So the, the Take Steps Fort Wayne Walk is CCFA's largest national fundraiser and the only walk dedicated to finding a cure for digestive issues. Anissa, what is it like walking? Uh, well, it's really amazing just to see everyone come together for the same cause and not have to feel ashamed or embarrassed or alone. And I think it's just really great for the whole community to see what happens when everyone comes together. Absolutely. Now, how many people are you expecting to, to turn out for the, the walk? This is only our third annual, so we're hoping okay. at least 150. Okay. Okay. That's still, I mean, that's a great event, though. I that's mean, a great really event, um, yes, for just for getting it off the ground. Our third year, we're hoping, and everyone is welcome to come and walk with us, uh, even if they are not affected by the disease but would like to gain more knowledge about it. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you both so much for being here and, and helping to raise awareness. We appreciate it. Thank if you. you are interested about joining the walk, here are the details. It is Saturday, May 17th at Indian Trails Park. Activities, food, and more start at 4 o'clock. The two-mile walk starts at 5 o'clock. And for more on the walk and the chapter, you can go to the websites there on your screen. We'll be right back.